updated eyewitness news, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, here's my Celebrity Scoop Award. I will say this. I was part of a team, and while I was doing a lot of gabbing, the rest of the team was doing a lot of working. <laughs> How I ended up with this trophy, I don't know. But I've got it, and I love Celebrity Scoop, and I'll be out there, of course, scooping again, or gabbing again, and watching others scoop again. Uh, coming up pretty soon, of course, it benefits hangers, and really, it, it, wonderful cause, and I just love it. Basket Rob, it's a great place to get some ice cream. As we take a look at our King's Cam there in downtown Owensboro, this is from the Hampton Inn. Looking out toward the east, and you can see we've got a pretty good south wind kicking uh, the smoke from the smokestacks there at OMU uh, to the north. And that is going to be the case really throughout the day today. South, southwest wind at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. So pretty good breeze out there. It was rain soaked this morning, starting to dry out a little bit in downtown Owensboro. So we've gotten a bit of a break from the rain. Uh, Pogato camera, the camera's shaking a little bit. Uh, as we take a look at Everly Brothers Boulevard, it's a little bit more of a breeze down there, I guess, in Muhlenberg County. And then our Tule Law Sky Camera. Look how dark downtown Evansville looks, but really not a whole lot of rain developing. We haven't seen much this morning. Now, we did get about a half an inch of rain yesterday at the airport in Evansville, 0.42. So, decent dousing of rain, no doubt about that. But I think when all said and done, we'll have better than an inch. So, we were riding into the middle of the month with only 0.03 inches, if you remember, before yesterday. And then yesterday, of course, we had a pretty good downpour. So now we're getting, getting close to a half an inch for the day. Uh, now, a half an inch for the month, I should say. Now, we had a little bit of rain early this morning before daybreak. 80 degrees, current temperature, dew points up there at 73. Today and tomorrow will be the two most humid days that we see, it looks like, for this week. And really, I mean, it's still going to be humid over the weekend, but it's going to be down a little bit. Dew points are going to be, you know, upper 60s to around 70 as opposed to low to mid 70s. And that's where it is right now and where it's going to be tomorrow. South wind at around 10 miles an hour. The wind's going to be 10 to 15 again from the south and from the southwest. 77 Jasper, 78 Calhoun, 77 also in Owensboro. 80 degrees here in town, 78 Princeton as well as Henderson, and it's 77 Fairfoot Field as well as Carmine. Well, Carmine's at 79 now. Dew point wise, there are those 70s. Look at mid 70s, Flora and Fairfield, very uncomfortable to the west. Down to the south, 74 Henderson and Owensboro, nothing to brag about there. As good as it gets is 70 in Princeton. Look at that, 77 in Tell City. They've had so much rain in Tell City, shouldn't come as a big surprise, but that's a pretty high uh, humidity right there in Perry County. Oh, beautiful shot here. Let me step aside and show you this. This is from uh, Newburgh yesterday. So storms were rolling in around 4.30. Neil Smith got this wicked-looking shelf cloud as it pushed through his area of town. That's an awesome shot. Neil, thank you so much for bringing that my way. Uh, oh, and after the storms, look at the beautiful sunset. I love the burst. We've got yellow, orange, kind of pinkish, purple, then kind of blending into the gray. That's in Hicks, Illinois, Hardin County. Kurt Davis got that shot. Live first warning Doppler radar, a little bit of rain up to the north of US 50, and we've got rain and plenty of it to the east, especially along and east of 65, but just a few showers around Maceo. You can see in central parts of Hancock County, got a little bit of rain too, working its way to the northeast, but not a whole lot developing. Rainfall estimates on Doppler, well, here in the Evansville metro, heaviest rain I could find was just outside of Newburgh, pretty close to Victoria National there, so they got a lot of rain for the greens. Uh, to green up that grass or green up the fairways, 1.3 inches of rain there. And as we look farther to the east, this is the heaviest rain I could find, a little pocket to the northeast of Tell City where better than four inches of rain estimated by Doppler down to the south right there on the Ohio and Hancock County line. Uh, let me do that again, just to the north of Fordsville, almost two and a half inches of rain. Let's go to the north up around Jasper, actually between Jasper and Petersburg, about midway right there on the Pike Dubois County line, about an inch of rain. And then farther to the west, Rainfall in Mill Shoals, right there in southern Wayne County. You've got yourself 1.3 inches of rain. And as we take a, take a look at the bigger picture, you can see that rain continuing to run to the east. Not a whole lot developing now. Our future tracker is showing these spotty showers and thunderstorms popping up this afternoon, though. And we do have an isolated, severe chance. And then tomorrow, we've got a chance for more rain, more scattered showers and thunder showers. But I'm not expecting anything severe for our Friday. But it looks like we could see better than an inch of rain on top of what we've already had as a rule, across the tri-state. We're all getting a good drenching, it looks like, over the next couple of days, and we've already seen a pretty good drenching. Clouds, some sunshine this afternoon with scattered showers and thunderstorms, and we do have that isolated severe threat. Breezy and humid, high temperature in the mid-80s, will be in the mid-80s for the rest of the week, and we can see rainfall amounts. They really, or should say the percentages, really start to drop off as we head into the week. Saturday looking a little drier out there. 
30% chance of rain, slight chance on Sunday at 20%. So the next couple of days look pretty wet, and the first couple of days of next week look pretty wet. We've got more lifestyles coming up right after.